with government policies changing randomly and fame to subsidy diminishing ev brands have a new challenge on their hand it is to make their products more approachable and affordable ether has expanded their portfolio and has launched the new 450s this is their most affordable scooter in their range and they manage this by reducing the range the peak power and reducing a bit of features so has ether taken the right decision by launching the 450s and more importantly does the 450s feel like a proper ether we are here in bangalore to find that out The big difference between the 450S and the 450X is the battery capacity and the power output. Understandably, the 450S is slower than the 450X in terms of acceleration, but in terms of top speed, both the scooters have the same top speed. Now, Ather is comparing the 450S as a rival to a 125cc i scooter. So, in terms of acceleration, this scooter is much quicker than most of the 125cc scooters on sale, barring the Entoc 125. and as a city runabout the performance is good it is a good commuter and the 90 kph top speed means that even on the highway you can do speeds between 60 to 70 kph rather easily so overall the performance is lower than the 450x but as a city runabout the 450s does a good job the 450s is available in two variants core and pro pack and here are the differences between these two variants There is a lot of difference between the two packs as you can see on the screen. The major one being the ride modes as they will help you extract better range. The auto hold function is really useful and as you can see is very effective on inclined surfaces. You just have to tap the brakes and the scooter holds itself without any inputs from the rider. As you can see visually there is no difference between the 450S and the X. So if I had paid the extra money for the X variant, I would have preferred some kind of visual distinction between these two variants. However, the Ather 450 still looks like a properly modern and sporty design, even though this design is almost five years old. Having said that, Ather designers, it's time to start sketching something new. To make sure they hit the right price point, Ather had to reduce a few features on the 450s. It misses out on the TFT touchscreen as seen on the 450X and even the brightness of the screen is lesser. However, the layout is clear and you still get navigation although it is turn by turn unlike Google Maps. The 450S also gets a new switch cube to shuffle through the various menus on the console. I personally feel that switch cubes are better than the touchscreen as it is safer and offers the rider better control. The other new addition is a dedicated reverse button which is convenient. There is also a new coasting region which is a more optimized regeneration system and it varies based on the riding mode. In terms of ergonomics there is no difference between the 450S and the 450X. The handlebar position is the same so is the seat height of 780 mm. As you can see the riding posture is nice and upright. There is good amount of space on the footboard. The only issue I have with the Ather 450S or the X is that the handlebar position is low. So if you are a tall rider, it does brush against your thighs when you're taking a tight turn. One key difference between the 450S and the X is the weight of the scooter. Because the S has a smaller battery pack, this is 3.6 kg lighter, which means you can move around the scooter rather easily. However, both the scooters also gets a reverse mode. The frame suspension and braking hardware have been carried forward so the 450s feels very familiar in this regard and it remains an eager handling scooter while the rear suspension is slightly on the firmer end so with the 450s ather wanted to make their brand more approachable and affordable and i think they have done a good job because the price difference between the s and the x variant is significant so if you are planning to buy the 450x and thought the price was too high you have a good alternative now in terms of performance difference yes the s feels a bit dull compared to the x because of the warp mode it feels more exciting but the performance difference between the two isn't too significant and especially for buyers who are switching from an i scooter between 110 to 125 cc the performance of the 450s is actually exciting So if you're looking for a daily runabout for city riding and occasional rides on the highway the 450s makes a strong case for itself